Hey there everybody, welcome to my review of the SH Monster Arts uh, Godzilla 2002. Uh, this is a re-release um, that's supposed to have a few little improvements over the last one. And uh, it's my second Millennium Godzilla. Uh, the other one I have is a GMK 2001 version, which is one of my favorite Godzilla designs. And uh, yeah, just uh, can't wait to dig into this guy. So uh there's no accessories, so we can jump right into the figure and see what the see what it's offering here. Um, uh, the sculpt wise, it looks really good as you can see. Um, they did a good job on the eyes. I know the eyes have been a kind of a problem for a lot of uh, SH Monster Arts figures. I'm trying to let me see here. At this eye right here, and then this one. So they're a little, they're not perfect, but they're not terrible either. Like he doesn't look too derpy from the front. So that's good. Um, uh, the worst offender of this, I think, is a 1954 uh, version of Godzilla. But uh, this one looks pretty decent. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Um,. The sculpt, of course, is, is great. I don't know if Yuji Sakai did this one, but, uh, you know, it really captures the uh, suit really well. I mean, and it does a really good job at hiding the gaps. Um, these dorsal plates are beautifully sculpted. The tail is just great. Um, yeah, I really like that. Um, you can see that here the nails are uh, painted pretty well. So are the, the claws and all that so yeah he's a he's a good looking figure um the paint on the teeth is uh is pretty good as well um get it in focus here i know that uh paint slop on the teeth is usually a problem for some uh figures um this is not it looks good um so yeah you know He's got uh, not a whole lot of color variation. They don't. It doesn't look like they did a wash or anything over him, which is pretty common for, I think, most SH Monster Arts Godzilla figures or just SH Monster Arts figures in general. They tend to do kind of flat uh, um, colors, except for you know a few others. But uh, yeah, um, in the looks department, he looks really good. He uh, definitely captures that design. Um, this is also the design that I think that that's mainly used in uh, IDW's Godzilla comics. Uh, so it's a very popular design. It uh, looks like uh, an updated version of the Godzilla 2000 First Millennium suit. So I've always liked this one uh, a whole lot. And uh, it's very bird-like with kind of like this, he almost looks like he has a beak. So, I don't know. It's a very slim, uh, cool-looking version of Godzilla. Very modern. So, for the articulation, he's actually pretty stiff. Um, I don't know if that's because, you know, he's I haven't moved him around too much. But usually out of the box, every SH Monster figures usually move pretty, pretty well. But his tail is, you know, just perfect. I mean, the articulation you can get out of this tail is you're going to get it to do everything you want to do it's individual segments um all the way up until like the end part here in this little part so i mean this is really good i really like it um his legs have a uh, pretty decent movement uh you know the best that you, know, you come to expect from these figures he's pretty limited in his knees um barely get like that you know uh 90 degree angle um but he's got a decent amount of rotation at the bottom here so his feet and everything uh look really good same thing on the other leg this one's a little stiffer like i said i, I got it out of the package not too long ago so his waist is really stiff um there's not much you can move around a little bit right there and you can kind of bend him down a little bit um, but somewhere where 
SH Monsters has been really killing it with their Godzilla figures lately is the neck. Um, and this is, he does a really good job looking up, so you can get him in like that swimming pose if you wanted to. But um, looking down, he's a little stiff. And he really has a, try, oops, oh, there they went that. At least it didn't break. Just a ball joint. Um, let me kind of snap that back on here. Or can I get it back on? Let me move this ball joint here. It's got a dumbbell joint in there. You just gotta kind of there you go snap that back in place so his neck is a little stiff side to side he doesn't move side to side all that well he moves up decently down yeah he's just kind of stiff though in the neck area and his head moves his head moves decently though you can see and then uh, his jaws on a ball hinge be careful opening up too far I did that and then it kind of gets stuck and you kind of have to re jiggle it around and like reposition it so yep there's that um so yeah his uh, articulation oh and his arms uh they move really decently at the shoulder i'm always afraid because these kind of pop off the wrists that's my, one of my one criticisms on the sh monster arts godzillas so i really want them to improve the wrist uh articulation or whatever because it, they haven't been that great so yeah because this was this popped out and i had to like force it back on i, I don't want to risk breaking it because these aren't meant to come off um but yeah um you know this isn't uh one of my favorite designs of godzilla it's uh but I think it is one of the better ones. Uh, my favorites are probably the, I think the 66 one from Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. I think that's when that came out. That one, and then the 1985 design, the 1989 design, and then uh, the GMK design. And the 2004 Final Wars version. Those are probably my favorites. I really like the... Uh, the 2004 or not two, not 2004 um the 2014 uh gareth edwards design too that's a really good one but yeah he's uh he looks really good his articulation is just a little stiff so i'm sure over time it'll improve um as i get him to pose around i don't have a mecha godzilla to pose him with or they haven't made a mothra from that era yet either which they really need to get on i hope that they they do that but they've made like three mecha godzillas so hopefully someday so let's get him pose him right here and let's do some size comparisons we got him right here in the middle and let's get him next to the gmk godzilla so here's something that i didn't realize about this figure is that he is really small um, even compared to, uh, you know, I know it's a little bit of an unfair comparison to make right now because the GMK Godzilla figure from SH Monsters is just pretty, that's, uh, pretty bulky in general. Like, he's a big figure, so I don't know if that's too, um, fair of a comparison but it's funny because these two are supposed to be around the same size if uh, you're going off of the way everything looks in the millennium series then you have the gigan here and gigan is here i'm gonna just move this out of the way you're gonna see my desk exposed under there but let me just kind of stand him a little straighter up so that way you can see that gigan here is really he's really tall compared to him and yeah, a little too tall, I think, to be honest. Um, yeah, so he's just... Yeah, look at that. He's really a small figure. I, I was not expecting that. Um, yeah, uh, let's get him out of here. And then we'll try the SH uh, Monster Arts Monster X. Um, right here. And yeah, uh, 
he doesn't scale too badly with this one. Um, but yeah, no, he's still... I figured he should be around the same size as these guys here. So I'm surprised that they actually scale better with uh, the, the GMK Godzilla. Um, and it's just funny, though, because, like, you know, SA's Monster Arts talks about... A long time ago, they talked about everything having their own scale, like each era, you know, Showa and, and what have you. But, uh, you know, they kind of abandoned that. Now they're kind of all over the place. And I, I would at least like them to just be consistent. And, uh, you know, that's this is a little disappointing. I mean, you could fudge it and make it work, obviously, in pictures. But I would much rather prefer that he's a similar size to, you know, all them. Um so yeah, um, let's get him out of here, and we'll do one more size comparison. Uh, don't want to knock anything over, and let's see here. Let's get him next to the NECA Kong, and obviously, you know, the NECA Kong even kind of bent over here. He's way out of scale with uh, with all the other. Um, he's out of scale with SH Monsters. He's he wants to fall over, so. Um, so that's not too fair of a comparison, but you know, it's always, I always like to compare. He's one of the ones I always like to compare him to. He's actually not in scale with anything. I think like I haven't found any like dinosaur or anything that I can really, uh, get him, you know, in scale with like even the Jurassic Park T-Rex that came out, I think from the Hammond collection or the Amber collection, one of those, he's not even like in scale with that. So, I mean, he's kind of in the league of his own unfortunately but uh, still a cool looking figure all right let's get him out of here and uh, final thoughts this is actually going to be my shortest collectible review video but uh you know there's just not a whole lot uh, on this guy as uh, the other ones um he didn't come with any accessories or anything he is a reissue but uh as far as just being a solid figure yeah he is really solid um He's got a lot of the good things about uh, SH Monster Arts and everything. Um, I'm the stiffness of the joints. I think you know things will be okay with that. Um, but uh, the paint's really good. The uh, sculpt is excellent as usual, and you know it's nice to get a reissue so you don't have to pay scalper prices for this. So I'm happy about that. And uh, what I recommend it, I I think so, especially if you're a completionist and you wanna. You know, you're a fan of this design. Like I said, this is a very popular design, not only thanks to the movies that he was in, but also the IDW Godzilla comics. So, yeah, I recommend him. Uh, pick him up at a decent price um, while you still can. And uh, add him to your SH Monster Arts uh, collection. So, that's it for me, guys. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. You can follow me on uh, Twitter, Instagram. All that stuff. And uh, go ahead and hit subscribe to help us reach 100 subscribers. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Check this pimping, I'm just trying to find a piece like Olimar.